Hey everybody, Matt with Lowcash Homestead. So, while we were cleaning and de-junking, I found this crate. This crate has an open bottom in it, so it will drain very, very well. And in fact, I remember, uh, once I found this, I remember what I used to use this crate for. I used to actually line it with this right here. This is a very, very heavy screen. It's called Pet Screen. I used to line it with that, and then I would pour... <coughs> wort or mash or beer or whatever you want to call it into that and I would use and just use gravity put it over another uh, like a drum and just let gravity drain the solids out of my alcohol mixtures uh, back when I was distilling fuel you know, remember when fuel was four dollars a gallon well when it was we were making ethanol fuel I don't really mess with it too much anymore uh, in fact I, I really don't mess with it anymore because gas prices are not cheap but not excessive so anyway we're gonna use this crate and we're gonna make that into a carrot box and I shouldn't have to do much to it I'm just gonna lay some weed fabric down on the ground and set that right on top of it Woo! it is windy still so we're gonna mix up some carrot soil I am using a carrot soil recipe adapted from bumblebee junction man I'm just gonna talk for just for a second. Uh, I don't know uh, Bumblebee Junction. I don't know them on a personal level except some interactions that I've had through commenting and things like that. But their videos are very direct and straight to the point on how to do things. And so I'm gonna make a uh, carrot soil based on their carrot videos. It's not gonna be exactly the same because I'm using stuff that I have, but I'm gonna, you know, try to stick to the, the general principles involved in that video. So we're gonna start with a giant cube of peat moss. That's a three cubic foot. So we're gonna open that up, dump it in the cart. We'll come back. All right, so we got a cart full of peat moss. Next I'm gonna add to it is this True Living Outdoor Potting Soil. Man, this stuff is perlite and wood, basically. So, this is like a $2 bag. You can find this at most of your dollar stores, Dollar Generals, whatever. So I'm gonna put in a couple bags of that. We'll come back to you. All right, so I put those two bags in, and those are like, what, 14 quarts a piece or something. Take a good look at this stuff. It's, it's just wood material and perlite. You know, you can see that all in there you know it's just wood material and perlite uh, we're gonna have to stir this in together with a hoe it's one of those this is one of the times where um, I'm kind of thinking maybe I put my mantis back in the shop a little bit too early but like I said before I've said before um, I can't speak for all models of mantis but my mantis is like every time you use it, it's got to be back in the shop so we took it into the shop and now would be a great time to have it because mixing in a cart or a wheelbarrow or something the little mantis up here uh, and just rev it up and you will have a super fine with almost no lumps stirred in the cart scoop it into whatever you're going to do kind of soil mix in seconds uh, if you're using a, a, like a little mantis or a rotary cultivator the oscillating cultivator doesn't really mix that well so we're going to do this with a hoe we'll get back to you in the air in a bit so we started out with two bags. I'm gonna go ahead and put in two more. Again, these are 14 quart bags. They don't really go very far, um, but they are cheap. And I use this, this stuff quite a bit for microgreens. Microgreens works great in this particular type of soil. So we're gonna go ahead and store in two more bags. All right, so this is like a cube, uh, the three cubic foot cube of peat moss. There is four 14 quart things of potting soil in here and that this th let me be clear this potting soil has like no nutrient rating at all uh on the bag it's 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 actually just like ground up wood and perlite and then we have the ginormo bag of perlite so we're going to stir in a whole bunch of perlite and see if we can get this mixture light enough before we run out of space in the cart all right so our cart is, is basically full to the point where stuff's starting to spill over so i don't know that i'm going to be able to go you know add more ingredients while everything's in the cart so but so far we have three cubic feet of peat moss 
we have two cubic feet of perlite and then we have four of the 14 quart uh, bags of that potting mix which is mostly wood material and some perlite um, now if you watch bumblebee junction's carrot video he says you should be able to like shove your hand down in it with almost no resistance i am not there yet but uh i'm also out of space <laughs> so i think what we're going to do is we're going to fill the boxes and then i'll or uh, mostly fill the boxes and then i'll put more perlite and stuff in kind of as we go with each box because i am out of room in the cart so we're gonna take a shovel we're gonna start filling our boxes um and hell we might need to make more i don't know let's we'll see how far this goes all right so that card i mixed up basically it kind of filled that one and that one and almost nothing in that one so i definitely need more peat moss which i don't have i am out of but our next planned trip to town is tomorrow actually we're going to be going about three towns over to one of the big box stores that has uh some uh, you know gardening supplies now I'm gonna be honest here and that is I can't speak for other parts of the country but I live out in the sticks and Walmart carries a massive assortment of gardening supplies at least out here in the country they do but they don't have the ginormous bags of perlite and they don't have the giant cubes of peat moss and they don't carry lumber which is something that we're gonna uh, be going to do in the next day or so which i believe we planned a trip to town for uh tomorrow so i believe that's going to happen then so we'll pick up some more stuff in the meantime i'm not convinced that our soil mixture is light enough i have had very limited success with carrots and you know i think that's primarily because our soil here is so heavy but uh we're doing it in these boxes and like i said i've i've got the base recipe from Bumblebee Junction. Um, there are some things that we didn't put in. I didn't put in pelletized lime, um, things like that. And, and my initial thing was, oh, pelletized lime, I don't need that. I got alkaline soil, but I'm in a box. So, you know, I didn't put in the pelletized lime and a few other things, but I am concerned that this is not light enough. So I'm gonna take this bag of perlite and I'm gonna start stirring it into these two boxes. And to do that, I am going to use my son's little shovel um, to uh, to do that. So I'll work on that and we'll talk some more. All right, everybody. So we just uh, spread our beds down and there is four cubic feet of perlite for three cubic feet of peat moss. I'm not exactly sure if that's the right ratio. Um, the description they gave at, at the Bumblebee Junction video was you need to be able to push your hand down in it with very little to no resistance. And I, I think we've got that, but I'm not 100%. So I'm starting these beds from scratch. So we're just gonna kinda go with that. And then, then same thing over here. And I wetted these down. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this bone meal. And I'm going to put on a pretty liberal amount because I'm starting these beds and carrots want phosphorus. So I'm going to put on a decent amount, we'll agitate that in, and then we'll go from there. All right, I covered both the beds in a layer of uh, bone meal. I'm going to take my little oscillator and I'm going to agitate that down about as deep as the oscillator goes. And then I'm going to put another layer on it. Is that overkill? Yeah, maybe. Can you have too much? not sure but in uh, a three by five bed that they use they'll use a whole four pounds of bone meal to refresh that bed so I figure I'm gonna probably use that whole oh man I can smell it now Ooh, that smells like goodness it has a very distinct smell it smells like goodness it smells like goodness so I'm gonna use my little oscillating uh, cultivator to work that down then I'm gonna layer it again and then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so we use our oscillator to um, agitate in that first layer of bone meal. The oscillator, oscillating cultivator only goes about four inches. Uh, I'm going to put another layer on it and oscillate that down. And I'm hoping that as this gets watered, that that bone meal filters its way through the peat moss and perlite 
it gives some really good, strong, long, fat carrots. All right, so that's the rest of the bag. So between these two beds, that's four pounds of bone meal. I oscillate that down in there with our little Black & Decker oscillating cultivator here. All right, now I'm gonna dress the top with just some potting soil. This is Timberline. Um, I do use quite a bit. It's a little bit heavier than uh, some other soils, but it's also like buck 75, two bucks. Um, it, it, the price one is gonna start going up because we're getting into gardening season, but I did buy a bunch of it when it was uh, clearanced out at Buckeyes, or not clearanced out, but on sale at Buckeyes, and it was less than two bucks. So I'm gonna open this up, dump it in the cart, uh, try to just, you know, de-clump de it a little bit, and then we're gonna put our top layer on our carrot boxes. All right, that's our potting soil. We uh, ran the oscillator through it to break it up. And uh, so now we're just gonna cover the, cover the boxes. We're gonna have to put our little two-inch top dressing on the carrot boxes. Okay, so we got our top dressing on that box, and we got our top dressing on that box. Now I'm gonna go through and punch all the little carrot holes. And the way they explain to do it is just two fingers, first knuckle deep, right? So that's what we're gonna do. And I'll meet, meet with you again in a minute. All right, so there's our beds with all of our holes punched in it. We are also using a pelleted seed. Uh, this is available retail. This is the Ferry Morris brand of So Easy. Uh, these have the uh, clay coatings on them. So we're gonna seed all of these and then we'll be back. All right, so we got it seeded and I'm gonna see if I can get a shot of those. Um, you see those seeds are pink and that's because they have that pelletized uh, clay coating on them and they add that color just to make it easier to see. Uh, they're still extremely small, and I tried to do two to three seeds per uh, hole. Some of them have four, some have two, some have probably six, just, um, you know, it's been kind of a long day working out here, I and mean, my hands are starting to get tired. So, uh, some of the spots probably have more than three seeds in them. All right, so we're gonna go grab um, some compost and manure and that's a 0 .05, 0 .05, 0 .05, and we're gonna close all these holes up. All right, so we're back at the carrot boxes, and again, we're using Timberline soil, compost, and manure. That's a 0 .05, 0 .05, 0 .05, and basically, I'm gonna slit the bag like this and like this, and I'm just gonna use my hands to dust that in to cover all the seeds. We'll do that and we'll get back with you. All right, so we just dusted the uh, cow manure and compost across the holes just like this until just basically I just took a handful of it went until they were all filled in. And then the last part is to, is to cover it with newspaper and soak it down. That is becoming or proving to be difficult because it is so windy, the paper just wants to fly everywhere. So I might have to wet the paper first and then put it on there. Yeah, see, see, it's just the wind's just wanting to blow everything everywhere. So we're gonna try and complete that part of this, and then I'll be back with you. All right, we have these covered uh, with the wet newspaper, and it's still problematic as far as the wind uh, keeping that paper down. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our poly on here, and so now we're gonna cover up our carrot beds. And it's so windy, it just keeps this newspaper's wet. It just keeps blowing the newspaper right off. So we're gonna put the newspaper back on, maybe put a little bit more water on it, and try and get, um, get these beds covered.